So this is where we went uh, on our last trip. We flew into Buffalo, which is my new favorite airport. And then we drove over here to Niagara Falls, which I'll show you kind of that in a minute. Um, stayed there for a couple of days. And then we drove across this area uh, over here to the edge of Lake Huron to a little town uh, called Goderich, which is right up here, which I'll show you also. But I, I kind of want to focus on this area right here. Um, that whole drive, three and a half hours over Goderich, was some of the most amazing farmland I've ever seen. But specifically, this area between the lakes um, has approximately the same latitude as the south of France. And much to my surprise, it was some of the most beautiful uh, vineyards on the planet, just right there on the edge of the lake. And you can see in this photo, they go right down to the edge of the lake, and then you can see Toronto which is right there across the lake in the background, right? Um, and just immaculately kept vineyards. I just can't tell you how freaking amazingly beautiful they were. Um, but the reason that matters is on the return trip when we flew out of Buffalo and you're sort of getting this 10,000 foot view and you can see how the lakes all sort of run together and you can look down off in the horizon and sort of see things. It occurred to me that, that uh, there's a story in history that wasn't accepted when I was a kid, but it has been in the last few years, and that is that the Vikings uh, sailed to America. And because of, of our view of the world, we always draw the maps, and you look at them coming across the Atlantic Ocean. But really, if you're a Viking, in this case, Leif Erikson, and you're going to sail out of Scandinavia, um, it's a trip of almost 4,000 miles, in fact, a little over 4,000 miles uh, to get to that spot I'm talking about. But interestingly enough, uh, there's just over 1,500 miles of open ocean, and the longest stretch is right here. And so depending on where you leave, it's just under 700 miles or uh, just over 700. And then you can sail right around the edge of uh, Iceland, you get a little shot of 230 miles over to Greenland. You go all the way down the coast of Greenland. And then here's another shot, but it's only 640 miles. And then you're right here along the coast in this, uh, the bay. You sail up the St. Lawrence River. Um, and you come right into Lake Ontario, which gets me to the point. Uh, Leif Erikson said... He didn't say I sailed to America. He says I sailed to Vineland, literally the place where they grow grapes and wines, which is exactly what he did. He just sailed his boat right there. And sure, it was a trip of 4,000 miles, but it was almost was minimal risk. The largest open water spot you have to do is 700 miles and it was just really cool to see that and realize this is completely doable what a great trip